Get vaccinated today if you want to avoid level three in your community. The virus is literally finding unvaccinated people. If you want summer, if you want to go to bars and restaurants, get vaccinated. If you want to get a haircut, get vaccinated. If you want to go to a concert or a festival, get vaccinated. If you want to go to a gym or a sports event, get vaccinated. If you are not vaccinated, there will be everyday things you will miss out on. And if you are vaccinated, you can be assured that in the new framework, you will get to enjoy the things you love, secure in the knowledge that the people around you and the environment you are in is as safe as possible in a COVID world. If you've done the right thing to keep yourself and others safe, to look after one another, you should feel safe. You should be protected from those who haven't made that choice. Anyone who is not vaccinated right now, unless you choose to be, you will not be able to enjoy the freedoms of other New Zealanders. If you've done the right thing to keep yourself and others safe, to look after one another, you should feel safe. You should be protected from those who haven't made that choice. We have a collective goal now. We're all in this together. That was Jacinda Ardern discussing vaccination certificates, which will soon be a big part of our lives. As recently as August, the Prime Minister ruled out using vaccination certificates, despite versions being in widespread use overseas. Now, vaccine certificates will make up the backbone of the traffic light system. really big step though to say that because you've chosen not to take a voluntary uh, health service that you no longer are able to participate in some elements of society. The threat is the virus, it's not people. There will be people who say if you're not prepared to contribute to the greater good of a society by getting vaccinated then you shouldn't get to benefit from all of the privileges of being a part of that society. People will certainly say that. Keep it closed until we reach a point that everybody has been vaccinated. What people hearing the message today that says very soon you won't be able to do many things that you love without being vaccinated and I expect that will accelerate vaccinations. That is certainly our goal. Sometimes under utilitarianism we would say that the end can justify the means. But it's really important then that we know what the end is uh, and what the goal that we're walking, working towards is. The, the target we're using here is a point that we transition. We are not going to stop at any point our efforts to vaccinate everyone. That will not end. Alan Brady used to be the only anaesthetic technician at Kaitaia Hospital, but he'd prefer to have a different vaccine to Pfizer, and that's cost him his career. I've known nothing else but this job. I've been in this game 37 years. The mandate has meant Stephanie had to leave her job at the school and her part-time waitress job. Why don't you just save yourself the stress and go and get vaccinated? Also, we need to give hope to the vaccinated. We need to give them a path to what life will look like now that they've done uh, what we've asked. Our Secret Service is launching an initiative to help us identify people who may have been radicalised. A person who is developing an us versus them worldview. Early next year we'll be in the phase of chasing up people who haven't come forward to get their vaccination. There will be some people that we have to actually really go out and look for. Do you know I actually got to a point where I started thinking about 
what I would need if I was to run in the light from my home. Fake news and the stories that are fake continue to circulate. So it could be the COVID measures that the government took, or it could be other policies that are interpreted as, as infringing on rights. All you're hearing in mainstream media right now is that it's a violent atmosphere, it's unsafe, that it's led by far-right groups. I don't see any far-right groups anywhere. Members of minorities and women groomed and duped. Just keep up with the vitamin C's. Oh, what immunity is? We don't have any vaccine. And then as evidence that this is, could not possibly be a racist or sexist movement. These people don't care about authority. These people don't care about your badge. For all those people who want to see police move in, clear the crowds, make arrests, use violence if necessary. Staying alive, staying... <laughs>